communication is the most powerful tool you can have. While just a short phrase, little did I know that these words would stay with me throughout my educational career. Growing up in Santa Maria, California, a predominantly Latinx and low income community, I often struggled in subjects such as science and math due to a lack of educational enrichment beyond the classroom. Recognizing how detrimental this was for students, I took action my junior year of high school to address this community issue. I founded the program Full Steam Ahead with my city's Recreation and Parks Department to bring science and engineering activities to youth at local parks and events. Building this program was incredibly rewarding as, they, as I was able to see educational empowerment firsthand in my Santa Maria community. Combining this with my participation in Girl Scouts, I quickly discovered my love for science and the natural environment through Earth Day events, garden revitalization projects, and trail restoration. It was because of these activities that my perspectives on environmental justice began to take shape. My hometown is known for its heavy agricultural production, which can lead to many environmental burdens, such as water and air pollution. Why were farm workers being placed in unsafe housing near industrial facilities? And how come my community lacked access to public transit and healthy food options, despite neighboring towns not having the same issues? These questions became the basis of why I wanted to pursue environmental science at UCLA. When deciding on where I wanted to go for undergrad, UCLA stood out to me in terms of its commitment to service and taking action beyond the classroom. I, I knew that this reminded me of my grandparents' words, that education is the most powerful tool you can have. And I knew that by coming to UCLA, I would be able to develop pertinent leadership and research skills to achieve those goals. However, this did not come easy. My first quarter of freshman year, I experienced culture shock and imposter syndrome as I struggled to adjust to the fast-paced learning environment. I remember studying for this biology midterm for days on end, only to do poorly. I felt as though I was constantly behind, trying to catch up to my peers who already had experience with advanced coursework. But by participating in activities and mentorships such as Yuba, I was able to meet other people who understood what I was going through. At the end of my first quarter, I visited my Yuba's mentor office in downtown LA, where she worked for an environmental engineering firm. After the visit, something clicked for me. People like me, we, who look like me, we do belong here at UCLA. We deserve a seat at the table for higher education, and our ideas and perspectives matter. Over the past three years, my passion for community engagement and environmental equity has brought me to specific leadership roles at UCLA and around Los Angeles. For example, I was the social media marketing manager for the UCLA Office of Sustainability where I led a marketing team to develop infographics and social media tools for undergraduate students to engage in sustainable lifestyle. I also had the chance to conduct year-long research on clean vehicle incentive programs with the Luskin Center for Innovation that resulted in a published report and participation in the Undergraduate Research Week. My work has led me to summer internships with the Water Education for Latino Leaders, where I track state water policy with Latino elected officials. I've been lucky enough to work with the National Resources Defense Council where I work on freight pollution in Southern California. This year, I am a resident assistant for Sprout Hall and a member of the UCLA Clean Consulting Club and a student leader for the UCLA Green New Deal, where I work with the Transportation Committee. All of this would not be possible without the support of the Yuba Scholarship. With this financial support, I am able to take this costly burden of a college education off of myself and my family, and instead focus on passion projects that matter to me. After graduating from UCLA, my goal is to pursue a, um, take a gap year and to pursue law school so that I can pursue a career in environmental law. Less than 2% of lawyers identify as Latina, and I would be the first person in my family ever to pursue a law, a law degree. I know that by taking on this challenge, I can be an advocate for sustainable policies and ensuring that low-income communities are included in the fight against climate change. Finally, I want to take a moment to thank all the donors for all of their continued support. You are not just investing in me, but investing in my community. The issues that affect my community don't come to a halt after I leave to college. They continue on. I know that I have a role to play, to be that change maker that comes back to Santa Maria and addresses those issues. I'm excited to pave that path for other students to do the same. As my grandparents said, education is the most powerful tool you can have, and Eula has truly shown me that. Thank you so much for your time.